Hi guys, it's Erin and today I am back with another video and I will be talking about the five most five things that was the biggest culture five five biggest culture shocks that I faced as I moved to Korea from Vancouver. Number one, public transportation. Every time I come to Korea, I am always shocked at how the good, how the good, how good the public transportation is here compared to Vancouver. Buses in Vancouver, I think for the bus I always took to go out to wherever. I always took the 555, which came every 30 minutes. Unless it's like really early in the morning or during like the busy times. Yeah, I had to wait like 30 minutes for the bus. But here, I think the most I've ever waited for the bus is like not even 20 minutes. So that's a plus. If you look at the subway system to Vancouver, I mean Skytrain, sorry. I used to always call it Skytrain, like the subway Skytrain, but now I call it Skytrain subway now. Ugh, I'm, yeah. Anyways, so if you look at the Vancouver Skytrain and the Korean subway map, it's like so different. Evergreen Line, which I never ever took. Uh, the C bus. My boyfriend's calling me. As I was saying before I got interrupted was that in Canada or Vancouver there was only the Millennium Line, the Expo Line, the Canada Line and now there's this Evergreen Line that I've never taken before but apparently that's a thing so there's only four. Whereas in Seoul just Seoul itself. If I just like look at my transit map, there is line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then there's also the airplane airport line, so the Incheon line, the Chunang line. And there's the Incheon 2 line, and there's a Pundang line, there's a Shin Pundang line. There's a Ebel line, Ever line, Ever line. And then the Jongdang line. I'm pretty sure there's more. Number two, people in Korea do not say sorry. Everyone's in such a hurry. I'm literally standing in the subway or sitting in the subway and I'm at the stop right before I'm about to get off, right? And then I have like Atomos pushing me from behind trying to get to the front of the door. Like, hello, I'm getting off too. It's so annoying. And when you're running down, well, like when you're getting down the stairs to get on the subway, the subway is coming. And then you just all of a sudden, people push you from behind because they're all running to get on the subway. Please. Mm. And also how people don't say sorry. It's like I'm walking on the sidewalk or like wherever. And then, you know, someone... shoulders you, they just walk away without saying sorry. Number three, people mind their own businesses here. I remember when I was in Vancouver, I would just like walk in my neighborhood and random people, they would just like nod to say hi or say hi, how's it going? They would just, you know, acknowledge your presence. But in Korea, you don't care about anyone that's walking down the streets past you or wherever. It's just literally they're on your own world. They got their earphones in and that's it. You go from A to B, point A to B, without talking to anyone. Unless you run into someone that you know. I don't know. But some people are just like that all the time, you know. But I find it kind of weird and boring. Number four. There are couples everywhere. Oh, 
there's so many couple friendly things here. Like everyone has couple rings. I read this thing on the internet, but apparently when you don't have a couple ring, you're not official. And the couple ring makes you official. Isn't that crazy? And like couples walk around in matching outfits. I thought that was so strange because you're wearing the same hat, the same sweater or the same t-shirt with your sweater or the same t-shirt, sweater and parka, anything the same. And then same matching like colored pants or whatever, same socks and then matching shoes. Like, I don't understand. So strange. I mean, there's also good things about how it's so couple friendly because there's a lot of places to go on dates. There's a lot of places to, oh, I'm not really sure if Vancouver has this, but when you go to the movies, there's always this thing called the sweet box. And it's like where two people sit together in one, yeah. So there's no like this thing, armrest in between you. Yeah, I've never actually been to the movies in the sweet box, but I think it's a pretty good idea. I don't know. Oh. Also, there's so many events, like there's, in Vancouver it's just Valentine's Day and that's it. But here it's like Valentine's Day, White Day, Black Day. It's really weird. I mean, it's not weird, it's just different. So it would be like February 14th is Valentine's Day. White Day is March 14th and then May 14th is Black Day. And Black Day is for singles. Number five. People drink anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> I think foreigners really take advantage of that because people are drinking in subway stations just chugging a bottle of soju, you know? And they sell alcohol everywhere. You don't have to go to the liquor store. I don't even know if there's a liquor, liquor store in Korea because people can buy it at the mall, at the convenience stores, at the... I don't know. And there's so many advertisements for drinks. Like, you know, the soju, you can see it anywhere. And I remember on Black Day, which is Singles Day, uh, people always eat like the jajangmyeon, which is the black bean noodles. But then also, just midday, people are drinking on the school field, at school. School field is at school, so obviously, duh. You drink on the field, and then you walk to class, come back from class, drink some more on the field. Oh, and when I finish work, and it's like, I don't know, probably like 11, 20-ish when I get on the subway, but every time I get on the subway at nighttime, even if it's not after work, at nighttime, the subway just stinks like alcohol. Ugh. So that was my five biggest culture shocks that I faced in Korea campaign from where I came from. Yeah, there's so many more. Maybe I'll make another video of the other culture differences. There we go. Culture differences that I noticed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit about Korea if you're from Vancouver or anywhere other than Korea and vice versa. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the very near future. Peace out.